So the GPC have created an F8 category specifically for band shirts in the equipped bench press single lift competitions. Now, what is an F8 band shirt? Well, the history of equipped powerlifting goes back quite a bit. Uh, the first band, the first bench shirt appeared around about 83 by Enza, and there's been various materials used since then. Uh, denim, polyester, single ply, multi ply, and so on. These new F8 band shirts use more of a polyester elastic weave. And the brands that are very, very popular nowadays of this new style of design, such as uh, F8 Customs, uh, Mendy, uh, Bench Daddy, uh, all have a very similar design in terms of materials. But the whole point of the, these shirts is to create a stretch to store the resistance in the shirt via an optimal bar path so that when you get the touch and the pr press command you've got all of that resistance build up and to pop it off the chest to make you lift much much more than you could do raw so gpc have created a category specifically for this new style of design which to be honest i think is wonderful um, there's going to be a lot of advancements with any sport along the way and i'm very appreciative of the gpc allowing this type of equipment in our own little category. So the shirt itself provides additional resistance that then allows you to lift much, much more weight during the press command. But how do we actually optimize the use of these shirts? Well, what you may see that differs from your typical single ply or your typical raw lift is the flaring of the elbows. Now, you flare out quite considerably to achieve the maximum stretch possible from the chest plate and also the supporting material on your behind your arms on the triceps. If we stretch these out as far apart as possible, we're going to get much more resistance built up, which then will allow us to then press more weight. So if you are looking at these style of lifts, check the elbows, check the flare. It will be considerably much more exaggerated elbows flared out, forearms nice and vertical. This is the optimal path in which to lift as much weight as possible. The descent of a equipped bench is also considerably much more slower as you are fighting the resistance of the shirt and bearing the weight down on that optimal bar path to create the most resistance and then fly up during the descent. It's almost like having two similar ends to a magnet pushing against each other. They naturally want to bounce out of the path that you're trying to force it through. And this bench shirt is no different. Now, the scary thing is, is that if you get pushed out of that bar path, the shirt resistance decreases and you could find yourself into a 100% to 0% situation where you are handling what is effectively double your raw max and having the res zero resistance. Um, so the optimal bar path, the flaring of the elbows, keeping it nice and controlled with a slow descent and then popping off the chest during a press command should make for an optimal F8 shirt usage. How much more can a band shirt provide you? Well, that is a journey in of itself. Typically, when you first jump into these, you are fighting much more than just the weight itself. Your body has to climatize to such ridiculous overloading. And so for the first few months, you'll find yourself lifting considerably more, but the central nervous system will take a beating, the overloading on all of your uh, triceps and traps and chest will be much more than you're used to. So the training style has to differ. And also you'll probably be lifting a lot of what just what the shirt is doing. Once you become familiar, comfortable and confident, you can then start applying your technique and your body's climatization along with the shirt's resistance to then start lifting considerably more. In my experience, um, I'm lifting double my uh, raw max and I've seen other lifters lifting considerably more. And again, a combination of good technique and shirt resistance. But for the first wee while, um, it's about climatizing your central nervous system um, and also experiencing this weight, which would feel completely alien. And let's be honest, absolutely terrifying um, <laughs> for you, the first, first, uh, first, wee, first few goes. That being said, 
band shirts and f8 lifts are ridiculously fun i'm very very grateful to the gpc for allowing a category for us f8 shirt lifters to participate in and if anyone has any particular questions about this style of um, bench press please shout out i am active across all the other usual channels and i am a big geek and love talking about this stuff too <laughs>